After her mother caught her children doing this while she slept, she wouldn't stop crying. Emma's life unfolds under the relentless rhythm of night shifts at a local convenience store, each day blending into the next with little distinction. The city's nocturnal pulse mirrors her own, a steady drumbeat of weariness that courses through her veins. As dawn breaks, marking the end of another long night, Emma trudges home, her body heavy with fatigue, her mind clouded by the fog of sleeplessness. The solace she finds in sleeping pills is both a blessing and a curse, granting her rest but stealing precious moments that could be spent with her two children, Oliver and Lily. Despite the invisible chasm carved by her exhaustion, Emma is greeted each morning by small beacons of love and care from Oliver and Lily. On the kitchen counter, a cup of coffee awaits, its steam curling into the air like a silent whisper of warmth and affection. Next to it, a glass of freshly squeezed juice glimmers in the first light of day, a liquid gold testament to their thoughtfulness. These offerings from Oliver and Lily are like lifelines, tangible evidence of their presence and love in her otherwise solitary existence. Yet even as her heart swells with gratitude for these gestures, Emma's overwhelming tiredness forms a barrier she struggles to overcome. The sleeping pills, while muffling the clamor of her overwrought mind, also dull her senses, making her interactions with Oliver and Lily feel like they're happening through a thick pane of glass. She yearns to reach out, to bridge the gap that her exhaustive routine has forged between them, but finds herself perpetually caught in the tide of her responsibilities. The silent distance between Emma and her children grows with each passing day, an unspoken acknowledgment of the sacrifices their small family must endure. Oliver and Lily, in their youthful resilience, adapt to this rhythm, their acts of kindness a way to maintain a connection with their mother, to remind her of their love, and to momentarily lighten the load she carries. Emma, caught in the cycle of work and rest, clings to these moments, brief interludes of connection that pierce the monotony of her existence. As the days unfold, the silent dance of love and exhaustion continues, a poignant reminder of the complex tapestry of family life. Emma's battle against fatigue is more than just a personal struggle. It's a testament to the enduring strength of familial bonds, the unspoken language of care that weaves its way through the heart of their home, uniting them in silent solidarity. Emma's world, already teetering on the fragile balance between her exhausting job and her precious moments with Oliver and Lily, begin to tilt towards confusion and concern. Oliver's persistent late arrivals at school, a stark contrast to his usual punctuality, knotted Emma's brow in worry. The enigma deepened with the discovery that her work clothes were mysteriously changed while she slumbered, replaced with comfortable attire she didn't remember putting on. These peculiar patterns wove a tapestry of unanswered questions, casting a shadow over her already strained existence. The perplexity of her son's behavior and the unexplained changes to her wardrobe weighed heavily on Emma's heart. She found herself caught in a whirlpool of concern for her children's well-being and a growing desperation for clarity. The decision to install a hidden camera within the confines of her bedroom emerged from this tumult of emotions, a silent sentinel to guard over the night's unseen events. Yet this resolution was not without its inner turmoil. Emma grappled with a gnawing guilt, the act of spying on her own family, a bitter pill that clashed with her maternal instincts. The camera, though a means to an end, felt like a betrayal of the trust that bound their little family together. In the quiet hours of the night, as the city outside whispered tales of sleepless souls, Emma set the camera in its covert perch. Her hands trembled, not just from the fatigue that clung to her like a second skin, but from the uncertainty and the fear of what the lens might capture. The love she harbored for Oliver and Lily battled with the acute need for answers, each motion a thread in the complex weave of her decision. As the camera stood watch, Emma's nights were restless, her dreams invaded by scenarios, both hopeful and harrowing. The anticipation of unveiling the morning mysteries left her heart tight, a pendulum swinging between hope for mundane explanations 
and dread of unwelcome revelations. This silent observer, hidden within the fabric of their daily lives, held the key to understanding the shifts in Oliver's routine and the secret caretaker of her nightly transformation. The dawn of discovery approached with a silent inevitability, its arrival poised to illuminate the hidden corners of their lives. Emma, standing on the brink of truth, was a portrait of a mother torn between the protective embrace of ignorance and the stark light of revelation, each moment ticking towards the unveiling of a reality that would redefine the bonds of their small, resilient family. As dawn crept through the curtains of their modest home, the hidden camera, a silent witness to the night's quiet acts of love, captured scenes that would forever alter the fabric of Emma's understanding of her children. Oliver and Lily... The footage, a mosaic of tender moments, revealed the depth of their silent devotion in a way words could never convey. Each frame was a revelation, an unfolding narrative of love and sacrifice that played out in the dim light of Emma's bedroom. The camera recorded the gentle approach of Oliver and Lily, their movements cautious and filled with purpose. They moved with a grace born of deep concern, their young faces etched with determination. Oliver, with a steadiness belying his years, carefully replaced his mother's work uniform with clothes that whispered of comfort and rest. Lily, her small hands fluttering like the wings of a bird, smoothed the fabric over their mother, her actions a silent prayer for peace and tranquility. This ritual, performed with a reverence that belied the simplicity of the act, was their gift to Emma, a gift of rest, of care, and of love unspoken. The video bore witness to their whispered conversations, the words lost to the hum of the night, but their meaning clear in a language of their actions. They shared this duty with a solemnity that spoke volumes of their maturity and empathy, a testament to the invisible threads that bound this family together. Emma, viewing the footage for the first time, felt a torrent of emotions wash over her. Each gesture of Oliver and Lily, each careful adjustment of the blanket, Each soft kiss placed on her forehead before they left for school was a revelation. The realization that her children had taken on such roles of caretakers in their silent, unassuming way pierced her heart with a mix of awe and sorrow. Regret for ever doubting their intentions mingled with a profound gratitude for their compassion. The tears that streamed down Emma's cheeks were a complex brew of love guilt, and a newfound respect for the young souls she was raising. Oliver and Lily, in their quiet devotion, had bridged the chasm exhaustion had carved between them, illuminating the depth of their bond in the soft glow of the camera's unblinking eye. This moment of discovery, though born from surveillance, transcended the initial intrusion, transforming into a catalyst for a deeper connection. Emma's heart, heavy with the weight of her previous doubts, now swelled with pride and love for her children, their actions a testament to the invisible enduring strength of family. In the quiet aftermath of Revelation, as Emma wiped away the tears brought forth by the sight of her children's silent acts of love, an unexpected phone call pierced the mundane sounds of their morning routine. The voice on the other end of the line, familiar yet imbued with a formal tone, belonged to the principal of Oliver and Lily's school. The conversation that unfolded was nothing short of a lifeline, a beam of light cutting through the fog of Emma's exhaustion and worry. The principal, having somehow learned of Emma's untenable situation, offered her a daytime job at the school. The position was not just any role— but one that promised interaction and involvement in the very heart of her children's daily lives. This opportunity, so starkly contrasting her nocturnal existence, seemed like a dream too fragile to trust. Yet, as the details were laid out, Emma felt a weight lift from her shoulders, a burden she carried so long she had forgotten its shape. The promise of daytime work meant more than just a respite from physical exhaustion— It heralded a chance for emotional renewal and the rekindling of bonds strained by absence. The very thought of being able to wave goodbye to Oliver and Lily in the morning, rather than under the cloak of darkness, filled Emma with an indescribable warmth. The prospect of shared dinners, of evenings spent discussing their day, 
of being present for those precious fleeting moments of childhood was a balm to her weary soul. As Emma, Oliver, and Lily navigated the transition, their home became a hive of activity and anticipation. Discussions of the future, once tinged with the gray of uncertainty, now sparkled with the vibrant colors of possibility. The children, in their adaptable resilience, embraced the change with enthusiasm, their excitement a mirror to Emma's own. The shift in their circumstances was not merely a change of schedule, but a transformation of their very lives. The first morning Emma walked Oliver and Lily to school under the soft glow of the sunrise marked the beginning of their new life. The air seemed fresher, filled with the songs of birds that seemed to celebrate their newfound togetherness. Each step they took was a step away from the hardships of the past, moving towards a future where the simple joy of each other's company was the cornerstone of their existence. Through adversity, Emma and her children had woven a tapestry of love and understanding, demonstrating the unbreakable bond of family. Their journey, marked by the courage to embrace change and the strength of a mother's love, stood as a testament to the transformative power of familial bonds. As they walked hand in hand, the challenges they had faced seemed to recede, leaving in their wake a path filled with hope, laughter, and the promise of shared moments that would become the treasures of memory. Their story was not just one of overcoming, but of flourishing, a reminder of the enduring strength and infinite capacity for love that defines the essence of family.